Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is being offered for Tony D'Arcangelo, Giustino and Anna D'Arcangelo, and Bernard Mar Moore. We also remember in our prayers Giselle Aubrey, mother of Chris Aubrey, and Kim, mother-in-law of Kim, who died this morning just recently. So we keep her soul in our prayers, and we also pray for the family that uh, grieved this loss. As we enter into this sacred celebration, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon, peace, and healing. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. The Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things that you have promised. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. My brothers and sisters, it is we who are the circumcision, who worship the Spirit of God and boast in Christ Jesus. We have no confidence in the flesh, even though I, too, have reason for confidence in the flesh. If anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, tribe of Benjamin, and a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as lost because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Let hearts rejoice, who search for the Lord. Sing to the Lord, sing praises to him. Let all, tell all of his, tell of all his works. Sorry, I'll get it right someday. Tell of all his wonderful works, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and judgments he uttered. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. All the 
tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling, saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus told them a parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he has come home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having 10 silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it. When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What we do matters. How we do it matters. How we live our lives matters. How we treat people matters. When Paul, who was an incredibly knowledgeable, zealous uh, um, Pharisee, who, in his thoughts, was absolutely justified in his thoughts, in his mind, in persecuting the church, in pure persecuting the people of God, in persecuting the Christians. He was absolutely convinced that he was right. And then he encountered Jesus. And everything turned upside down. Everything. I'm sure all of the relationships that he had, even being a student of the great Gamaliel, all of his peers, all of his neighbors, all the people that listened to him in the court, listened to him in the synagogue, all his relationships, this radical change in him, he had to give up a lot. But he gained everything, and his life was changed. Not only did he have to change in his mind, but he also had to change in his actions. He would have had to face the very people that he persecuted and repent to them. So not only did he repent to the Lord, because he did. Remember his conversion. After encountering Jesus in that powerful, powerful way on the road, in that thunderous way, then Paul, being healed through the hands of uh, Ananias, who was reluctant, right? Was reluctant to reach out to Paul and reluctant to even uh, 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 place his hands on him and pray for healing. I'm sure what was going on, or at least I'll speculate what was going on in Ananias' mind was, I might just delay a few moments before I go and pray with him, just to show him, you know. It, who knows? That's probably just me imposing my own uh, faults upon uh, Ananias. I'm sure he was much, much holier than I was am, and ever will be. But so the point being is that Paul, in his journey, after encountering Christ, 
lived the words he professed. So when Jesus, in the midst of the Pharisees and the scribes, who were grumbling, saying that he talks to tax collectors and sinners, he was accused of chatting with prostitutes, the unsightly people. And then he talks about repentance and going after souls. So this is our call. In gentleness, in persistence, that when Jesus radically says, because if you read this parable, and we've all heard it, the 99 and the 1, the, the, uh, the lost coin amongst the other coins. If we actually read it and say, okay, well, we can just cut our losses and let it go. No. Jesus does something radically different. Because it's about repentance. Why he came is to reconcile all things in himself to the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit so that we may live lives of integrity and live those lives caring for and reaching out to the unsightly, the unwashed, the wounded, the hurting. This is why our vision statement talks about the healing power of the Eucharistic Lord reaching out to a wounded world. So let us have the Lord touch our hearts and heal us and humble us so that we can go out into the world and do what Jesus did. Let us pray. We pray now, presenting our prayers and petitions to God our Father, who knows already our hearts and our minds and calls us to repentance and to live the life of faith. We pray for a world so in need of conversion, of change, of reconciliation, of peace. We pray for an end to human trafficking. We pray for an end to persecution, especially of Christians. We pray to the Lord. We pray for an end to this virus and all the things associated with it. And we pray that true peace will come upon our world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the church in her mission to proclaim Christ clearly and authentically throughout the world, that she may do so in obedience, love, and charity, reaching out to those on the fringes. We pray to the Lord. We pray for family life and all its joys and all its struggles, that families will seek always the heart of Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray in thanksgiving for the many blessings that God gives to us in our lives. We ask the Lord to inspire us. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the suffering and those who have been entrusted to our prayers, especially those who are struggling with very, very serious illnesses and their caregivers, that they may know the consolation of us. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the repose of the soul of Giselle Aubrey, mother of Chris, and we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory especially those who, of our family members and friends who have gone before us. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the intentions being offered at this Mass, for Tony D'Arcangelo, Giostino and Anna D'Arcangelo, and Bernard Moore. We pray to the Lord. And finally, for all the intentions that we hold dear to our hearts that the Lord knows.
we pray to the Lord. Lord Loving and merciful Father, just as you called St. Paul to follow you, so too you call us to follow you. Help us to repent where we need to repent so that we may live lives of integrity by both word and action, and that we may seek you in all things, in all situations. Receive our prayers and grant our petitions according to your will, for we make them in Jesus' name, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands of made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald Peter, our Bishop Joseph, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Especially remember in this month of November for family members and friends who have died. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, you graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me shall have life because of me, says the Lord. May the working of your power, Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. Let's pray together, God's protection over us and our families. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. We certainly uh, continue to pray for our friends south of the border that uh, all the crazy will be kept at bay and that uh, uh, the Lord will grant all of us peace. That would be awesome. We would love that. Have a blessed day today and enjoy the day. Uh, I will. <laughs>